Hey everybody and welcome back to Lindsay's Little Library. So today is Booklist Thursday. First Booklist Thursday of 2022. Let's just celebrate that for a moment. Anyways, <laughs> we're back again for this year. Um, I, this is something I do with Sarah over at Sarah's Nightstand. We come to you every Thursday with some sort of book thoughts, ideas, recommendations, something bookish related. And one thing that we've been doing pretty consistently throughout Booklist Thursday history is five star predictions. So based upon your amazing feedback from a video we did last fall um, and asking for suggestions and ideas of how we can, of course, improve this, Five Star Predictions is by far our most popular yeah. videos for Booklist Thursday. Ignore the eight-year-old making weird noises. Um, so we are changing it up slightly. And we are still going to continue to ha to partner with other booktubers out there and do the five star predictions. And we are going to do more of them. So we are going to do three books at a time every other month, I believe. So every month, in the beginning of January, we will have our picks for five star predictions. And then the end of February, we'll tell you what our thought is. Beginning of March, we'll do another round. End of April, we'll tell you our thoughts. So every month, you'll have some sort of five star prediction chat. Um, this first round, we are partnering with the amazing Vicky from Vicky's Book Nook. Book Nook. Um, absolutely love her. Love her channel. Love what she reads. Love her recommendations. Love partnering with her. So we've decided for this. Oh, we also pick a theme for each of our five star predictions to kind of just help guide us and maybe pick up some books that we weren't looking at or what whatnot. So this one we are, we picked books that fit prompts from year-long reading challenges and so beginning of January is when a lot of different reading challenges come out whether it's through like I know our my local book club does one um different Facebook groups do one Barnes and Noble has one Pop Sugar has one the Book Riot has one I think book of the I'm positive book of the month has one bookish first has one I mean they're all over the place they're year-long reading challenges and trying to fulfill prompts um so we're picking books based on prompts from those challenges. So I picked three different reading challenges to pick my prompts from. Um, the first one is a Friends and Fiction Facebook page that I'm a part of, and I'll leave a link for that below. Um, and they have monthly prompts, and their January prompt is a debut author, which I thought was fantastic because I have The Widow that's been sitting on my shelves forever by Fiona Barton. I haven't read her yet. And this is her debut novel. So um, it's in, let's see, following the twists and turns of an unimaginable crime, The Widow is an electrifying debut thriller that will take you into dark spaces that exist between a husband and a wife. I don't want to know any more than that. I've heard good things of this. This has been on my shelf for quite a while. Um, I literally have challenged myself. I'm going to start at the very top right of my bookshelf and the very bottom, no, the top left of my bookshelf, the bottom right of my bookshelf, whatever my directions are, and try to read to the middle. And so this was on the very, very top at the end. So it perfectly fit this prompt. It was the first one I picked up and I'm like, it's fate. So that's my first five star prediction because again, I've heard really great things about it. The other challenge I picked is the pop sugar reading challenge. I believe it's 50 prompts that you try to fill. Um, I really like this reading challenge because it really makes you think outside the box. Um, and so this one is to pick a book with a quote from a favorite author somewhere on the cover. So for this one, I'm picking What's Mine and Yours by Na Naomi Coster. And on the back, we have a quote from Christina Baker Klein, who wrote The Orphan Train. Um, it says, a rich, emotionally complex story about family and identity. It is both in intimate and sweeping, and she loves this novel. So this will fit that prompt. It's also for a book club. So it just works. Um, so this one takes place in North Carolina, and there is outrage as a county initiative drafts students from the largely black east side of town to the predominantly white high school on the west. There's two students that we're going to follow in here. We have Guy and Noel. Um, the integration sets off a chain of events that will tie their two families together in unexpected ways over the next 20 years, which I think is really, really interesting. And I was trying to find dates in here. Um, and they have it set in the 90s and then in the 2000s. So I was thinking like, this would be early, like 
60s, but no, a little, little more present day. Sort of, 90s was a while ago. Anyways, um, and one side of the integration debate is Jade, Guy's steely, ambitious mother. In the aftermath of a harrowing loss, she's determined to give her son the tools he'll need to survive in America as a sensitive, anxious young black man. On the other side is Noelle's headstrong mother, Lacey, a white woman who refuses to see her half Latina daughters as anything but white. She strives to protect them as she couldn't protect herself from the influence of her char their charming but unreliable father, Robbie. So just sounds fantastic. Really great family drama. Um, and it's for a book club. So it checks all the boxes. I like it. I'm excited. And then the last one I picked um, was the Barnes & Noble Reading Challenge because it was just one of the first ones I found. And I'm like, okay, that actually works. Um, and the prompt is something based on actual events. So we're going to go with World War II. I know you guys are so surprised that I picked a World War II historical fiction as a five-star prediction. I, I know, I know. Um, we have The Warsaw, uh, Warsaw Orphan by Kelly Rimmer. I got this as part of our book exchange with my book club. We have a blind date with a book exchange game that we play in December every year. And this is what I picked up. So we have Spring 1942. Elizabetta is aware of the swiftly growing discord just beyond the courtyard of her comfort, comfortable Warsaw home. Um, she has no fondness for the Germans on patrol of her streets and, and their curfews. But has never given much thought to what goes on behind the wall that contains the Jewish neighbors. She knows all too well about German brutality, and that's the reason she mu must conceal her real identity. But in befriending Sarah, a nurse who shares her apartment floor, Elisabetta makes a discovery that propels her into a dangerous world of deception and heroism. So I think she gets involved, and I can't wait to read it. So that's my other five-star prediction. So I've got three good ones. Um, I've got a thriller, I got some family drama, I got some historical fiction. I mean, we are, you know, spreading around the wealth. So this is what I'm picking up. I hope they're all five stars. Uh, make sure you go over to Sarah's channel. <laughs> go over to Sarah's channel, see what she has picked out. Um, I don't know if she's doing different challenges. We haven't really talked. We just give her a prompt and we go with it. So, and then don't be afraid to go visit Vicky's channel. Both of those will be linked to below and see what they have picked for five star predictions. I'm excited to see what they have. Otherwise, like, comment, subscribe and all that fun stuff. And I'll see you next time. Bye.